Hi! In this video, you're going to learn about the UI toggle, a core component in the Doozy UI system. Let's go! In order to create a UI toggle, you go to the hierarchy view, right click, Doozy, UI, UI toggle. It uh, looks and behaves just like a normal toggle, but it has a lot of features. Unlike the native UI toggle, and I'm going to create one now, the UI toggle also uses Text Mesh Pro. This one is uh, a native UI toggle, uh, a native toggle from uh, Unity, and this one is our implementation. Unlike the normal one, you also get the UI toggle script on top of the toggle script that uh, the native component has. So let's uh, look at it. You have some default settings that you can uh, have for any newly created UI toggle. For example, allow multiple clicks, the select on click, and so on. You, you also have an option to enable and disable. So it's on and off. And uh, you also, it can also react on pointer enter, exit, on click, when it is selected and when it got deselected. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you want to have an animation when the pointer en enters its uh, area. So let's add a small rotate. Let's say five degrees in 0.2 seconds. And let's press play. And now when the pointer enters the UI toggles area, it will rotate by five degrees. Let me zoom in a bit. There you go. Let's say that uh, you want something a bit more flashy. So let's set the scale. Let's select one of the presets, elastic out, and let's preview it. And let's also add a sound when the toggle is on and when the toggle is off. So click. And when it's off, Again, we can add a sound. Let's add the same one. So let's just play and check it out. And it works as a toggle should. What else can you do? Well, you can have different sounds and perform different actions when the UI toggle is enabled or disabled. So let's say on click, when the toggle is on, I want to, you can also trigger effects, animations, get, send game events and trigger Unity events. And you can have different things when the toggle is on and when the toggle is off. So let's say when the toggle is on, let's add a click. And when the toggle is off, let's have a different sound. And let's see it. So now this is the default Unity toggle and this is the Doozy toggle. Let's uh, also add an animation. So when you click it, let's uh, punch it and let's again select a, let's see how this animation looks. Yeah. All right. So now we have an animation when we click it. There you go. Let me zoom in. Of course, uh, it uses Text Mesh Pro because uh, we have it enabled. Otherwise, it would use uh, a native text component. How did we enable it? Well, Tools, Doozy, Control Panel. And here in the General tab, if you have Text Mesh Pro installed, you'll have the option to enable it. In this project, because I'm using uh, Unity 2019, it is installed by default, so I can enable and use it. Another another feature, just like the UI button, you can uh, it can react when it is selected and when it is deselected. Uh, this is mainly added so that you can um, mark it when it is uh, selected or deselected with a controller. And yeah. That would be it. Allow multiple clicks and disable button interval is just like the UI button. So right now it can be span clicked. And let me show you. So I can click it. But if I say do not allow multiple clicks, it will get disabled. So the interactable option will get uh, disabled for 0.2 seconds. Let's say one second. So the user can no longer spam it. 
usually allow multiple clicks is uh, enabled and you can see it's on and off of course you also have a debug mode that uh, will show you whatever relevant uh, messages in the con are, are relevant in the console and that's it that is uh, the ui toggle in uh, a few clicks <laughs> okay thank you